The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant in northeastern Japan is now facing another hurdle. They've given up retrieving a robotic probe that remains stationary inside one of the reactors. Tokyo Electric Power Company engineers inserted the remote-controlled robot for the first time on Friday into the containment vessel of the number one reactor through a pipe. The snake-like machine was supposed to survey internal damage to the vessel, but it stalled after moving about 10 meters. They suspect the robot itself, or its remote control cable, has become caught on something. The engineers operated its maneuvering belt and manually pulled the robot's cable, but it's not showing any sign of being able to move. TEPCO officials had scheduled a similar survey on Monday on the same vessel using another robot. But they postponed that plan because the first robot's cable is blocking the entry for the second probe. The utility says it hasn't decided when it will conduct the second survey. NHK World's Michael Ambe is back with us. So, Michael, do you think the outcome will affect politics on a national level? Um, well, these are, after all, local elections, so the results may not directly affect the political situation in Tokyo. Uh, but the next nationwide vote for the upper house uh, doesn't take place until next year, and party leaders saw this election as a chance to get an idea of how their policies measure up with voters. They also treated the races as opportunities to build strength ahead of upper house elections. Local assembly members play an important role in gathering voter support during national elections. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, the LDP was able to secure seats for all the candidates it backed in the elections for governor, including the ones it backed together with the opposition, after losing several governor's races over the last year. They considered Hokkaido and Oita especially significant because the two were the only prefectures in which uh, the LDP went head-to-head -head with the major opposition, the DPJ, in races for governor. Also, those are places where the DPJ and the labor unions that support it have been relatively influential. And the LDP has succeeded in maintaining its position as the party with the most seats in 40 of the 41 prefectural assemblies. Prime Minister Abe's Liberal Democrats and coalition partner Komeito are expected to take advantage of the results to push forward key initiatives. These include the package of economic policies known as Abenomics and new national security legislation that will allow Japan to exercise. I thought you'd never ask. Now, here's the finance minister, Taro Aso. Remember, everybody's an Aso. Who can forget Taro Aso? <laughs> The biggest asshole in Japan. Who can forget him? He's the finance minister, right? Yes. What an asshole that asshole is. Well, he's in this headline. Let elderly people, quote, hurry up and die, says Japanese minister. Taro Aso says he would refuse end-of-life care and would feel bad knowing treatment was paid for the, by the government. So he was doing the rounds, selling people on this new budget they have you know, for the new government. Heaven forbid, he said, if you are forced to live on when you want to die, I would wake up feeling increasingly bad knowing the treatment was all being paid for by the government. The problem won't be solved unless you let them hurry up and die. <laughs> That's right, Mrs. Watanabe. This, some fellow finance minister in Japan named Aso wants you to kill yourself for the benefit of his paper-pushing bankster buddies down there at the Bank of Japan. That's not right, is it? What are you going to do about it? How about some... Uh, some you know what? They got that special sushi in Japan made out of the blowfish. <laughs> yeah. If you eat too much of it, it kills you. How about Mrs. Watanabe goes down to this asshole's office and serves him a nice luncheon of deadly sushi? How'd you like that, asshole? Damn, I'm good! Can you feel that? Huh? Can you feel it, Captain Cut? has its right to collective self-defense. And, Michael, how about the Democratic Party? Um, well, DPJ leaders had said victory at the polls would allow them to solidify the party's foundations. The party was defeated by the LDP in the last unified elections four years ago when they were still in power. Uh, they repeated their defeat in the following general election and fell from power. On the campaign trail, they said that Abenomics was harming local economies. They called for changes in economic policy and expanding support for families raising children. But not only did they lose the governor's races in Hokkaido and Oita, they also failed to improve their showing in local assembly elections. Uh, it's become clear once again that uh, the party is still fairly weak. Uh, the DPJ's leaders may have to review their strategy as they head to the upper house elections down the road. 
Thank you, as always, Michael. All right. Take care now. Bye-bye, then. Loser.